Hi, my name is James Dean. I'm with Oxygen 8. And here we have the Ventum HO5 dedicated outside air system. So we're providing 100% fresh air and doing this in a low energy way. I'll just walk you through the operation. Uh, so here we have our uh, two variable speed ECM fans that have very low uh, fan energy. Here we have our energy recovery section with a counterflow core using a polymer membrane that recovers 75% of the sensible energy and 65% of the latent energy. Here you'll see four heat exchangers. We have the option for integrated bypass, so you can have free cooling or economizer mode. We have MRF 13 filters on the supply air side and the return air side. Uh, so the way that this works is we have outside air coming through MRF 13 filter, going through the heat exchangers, getting pulled through the ECM fan, and we have our return air coming through this MRF 13 filter, counter flow through the heat exchanger and coming out. Uh, we have um, fully integrated controls, BACnet IP, BTL certified. Have a number of different algorithms. Uh, we have demand control ventilation. We have constant volume. Uh, you can run at uh, unbalanced air flows if you like. Number of sensors in here. We have RH sensors, temperature sensors, uh, pressure sensors across the filter. So we record the pressure drop on the filters to determine when the filters need to be changed. It'll send an alert to the facilities guy, uh, identifying when we're at the loading limit of the, uh, the filters. Uh, double wall casing two inch thick, so the system is quite uh, quiet and uh, well insulated. And we also have uh, integration of Daikin VRV for supplemental heating and cooling. So to the end of the unit, we have a fully coupled DX coil that provides the supplemental heating and cooling to bring the air to neutral air temperature. And coming soon from Oxygenate, Havtech and Daikin is gonna be dehumidification with hot gas reheat, where we can provide 100% outside air, not only at the target leaving air temperature, but the target relative humidity. So we have a DX cooling coil to condense out the water vapor, followed by a reheat coil uh, to bring it back up to neutral air temperature. How many rooms or spaces will this unit serve? Do I need, how many do I need in a, you know, a small school, elementary school? Sure. Yeah, so the, the Ventum unit comes in six different sizes, ranging from 500 CFM up to 3000 CFM. So this unit here is rated for 500 CFM, so it'd be one unit per classroom. Or if you wanted to do one unit uh, serving six classrooms, we would have our larger unit, the 3000 CFM unit. And that just pulls supply air from a wall? Okay. Yeah, so the Ventum unit will have uh, two duct connections going to the perimeter wall. One is gonna bring the uh, outside air in, and then the other is uh, uh, has the exhaust air going out to the perimeter of the building. And this can be used both in new school construction as well as retrofit of older schools that don't have any ventilation. If I have Daikin VRV cassettes, I just run the pipe from this directly to the cassette? You'll have a Daikin uh, outside condensing unit that will run the refrigerant pipes to the DX coil in the electronic expansion valves that go in the uh, oxygen Ventum unit. I understand you've done a, a project with integration of sorbent filtration and the uh, oxygen uh, Ventum? Yes, yeah, so we have a project coming up, uh, engineering office, where it's going to be a combination of the Inverid uh, HLR technology, which does air purification, together with the Oxygenate 100% uh, uh, fresh air system. And then we also uh, have a partnership with Riptide, where the Oxygenate unit integrates with the Riptide hub. So on the Riptide dashboard, you can not only see the Daikin VRV equipment, monitor it, alerts, and control, but you can also the oxygenate dedicated outsource system all on one dashboard. Are, are you, do you have sensors in here to test indoor air quality before and after the, the unit? Yeah, so standard sensors are temperature sensors, relative humidity and pressure sensors, but we can also add 
CO2 sensors, VOC sensors, and PM2.5 sensors. And on the indoor air quality dashboard, real time, you can see the trending of all of those IAQ parameters.